Steven Donasco, Green Tweeting Company. I work for our IT Center of Excellence Product Lifecycle Management as an SAP Solution Specialist. We provide engineered um, products, primarily sealed components, for aerospace, energy, and semiconductor divisions. We are a global organization. We have manufacturing facilities in Houston, Texas, Culpsville, Pennsylvania, uh, Nottingham, United Kingdom, and Taiwan, with uh, sales across the globe in many different locations in Europe, Asia, and the United States. It was primarily around CAD. So we had CAD files across the organization in many different file share locations. It was difficult for users across the globe to access these, these documents within that, within that current environment. Uh, the problem was uh, it could take several minutes or hours to actually find documents, which led us into many duplicates uh, created within the environment. We did uh, review, I think, three different uh, document management PDM solutions. ADEP was, was a smaller uh, organization that had the functionality that we really needed for our integration. Uh, looking at some of the larger uh, solutions didn't seem very personal to us. Uh, the, the, just the, the environment and, and the individuals that we engaged with during the, during the selection process felt us, made us feel like it, it was a partner that we wanted to partner with with a long time. The, the initial implementation was, was primarily around CAD. Uh, we wanted to centralize the CAD files uh, in one location so that others across the organization, organization could actually access these files uh, quickly and effectively. Um, once we understood the capabilities with the, within ADEPT, um, we expanded our scope quite a bit to allow other users across the organization with some integrated solutions with our ERP system to to allow uh, global access to release drawings within the Green Tweet environment. So it took us about nine months to go through the full project planning and implementation and training. Um, it was a big change to the organization, uh, primarily around the specific metadata that was associated with the files. Uh, the biggest challenge was the many different divisions or markets that we had had different templates, different custom properties, metadata. We had to find a way to consolidate all of that information and give the users a, a quick and easy uh, solution to populate consistent data across the organization. The impact is that everything is now searchable rather quickly. Um, by, by standardizing on the, on the uh, custom metadata, uh, we can now reuse, reuse the designs uh, in new design opportunities, but with also the integration into our ERP system, it gives global access to all of our release drawings to the global organization via one click. So with the design reuse, um, based on the, on the quick search functionality, we can find something similar uh, based on the application details of the, of the new incremental opportunity to t leverage the information and the design prior and tweak that to the custom application that's in front of us right now. So with, with, the, with the implementation, it's where we, we really felt a great partnership. It, we struggled a little bit at first to understand all of the capabilities, but the individuals that worked directly with us during the implementation were great. Really, a knowledge transfer was there. Uh, we understood what the product could do, which allowed us to expand uh, our initial scope. Uh, I think the biggest thing was some of the challenges that we had going live with some minor issues with some plugins um, and working with the help desk that turned around the request and, and, and really, it was like they were talking to us only uh, to, to really get to the solution and make sure that we were effective in our implementation and we did not have any uh, hiccups globally within the organization. One of our implementations, specifically with the Publish Wave plugin, uh, was a timing uh, based on some other custom programs that we had. Um, upon a, a check-in, it wasn't the plugins that were configured weren't working in the correct order, I would say. And uh, specifically, Joe Gasper <laughs> helped us out tremendously to get that fixed and up and running. 
Um, I also remember working with, with Judy back in the day as well on the same process. So we had two individuals working closely together to get us a solution very quickly.